Okay, so one of the cool things about Marchi, really, I mean, it's a really nice, stable thing to use, but it looks great. And um, obviously, you know, the screensaver is one of the cool parts of it. It, it basically fires off the word of Marchi and does, um, I think it's called terminal text effects. I'm reading off of the screen. Terminal text effects, which just whatever word you put in, chucks it all over the place and does all the effects there, which is great. Now, if you, you go in to... Um, the config section, we'll do this in a second, you can see the, the file and it will generate, you know, it, it generates the word Amarchi. Now that's ASCII. So to, to sort of change it, it's, I don't know, it's a bit trickier, isn't it? You have to go to where there's a place online, you could go, you could copy and paste stuff and put it back in. But I mean, that's a bit of an ethic, isn't it? We don't, I mean, we don't have to do that. So my screensaver started. Um, we don't have to do that. We want to just go in and change the words. Now, the font in involved is delta delta priest something i think delta corpse priest and that's an interesting one that doesn't have any numbers in it so and it doesn't have any special characters so you're limited to words so you know you can generate any ascii art you want and put it in there if you want to maintain the style because this is the key thing you you want to keep the style because it looks good and the word march is it's brilliantly written but, you, you know, if you start to put other stuff in there, it starts to look, I mean, ASCII art's great, but sometimes it can just look pants. So if you want to maintain the style, it's quite tricky because you're a bit limited. So obviously, again, as you follow my channel, I've written a script which will allow you to maintain the same font, change the words. So what you get on the screen is basically whatever you want to say, but in that font. So it maintains the sort of look, the aesthetic of the Amarchi type of look. Anyway, anyway, so with that said, um, um, I'll take you through it. We'll take you through how the screensaver bit works internally. And, and um, then we can run the script and then you can change your words to however you want. And they'll look like they're in the world of Amarchi, as that, that makes sense. Anyway, let's dive in. Okay, so here we are on the desktop. And to do your, to get into the screensaver, it's in here, uh, style. And then you hit screensaver. And this will take you to, uh, uh, it'll take you to the ASCII file, which will, let me just come out of that, let's bring up a finder, which should look, downloads, may have deleted it, there. Well, LibreOffice is going to do it. It comes up with that. That's weird. Um, it comes up with that, basically, but it'll come up with it uh, in, in near Vim or the editor. Credits, next. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what's going on here. Get rid of that. Okay, so it comes up with that. And you can edit that, but it's really hard to maintain that style. So let's close that down. And then if you want to work out, you want to change the timings of how quick that it appears it's in here as well in setup config hi that one so in here you can see you've got listener 50 i put it mine's on 50 but it's up to, it's defaults to 150 and then you can change how long it is before the screensaver kicks in i mean i've not built that bit into my script i mean you can just go in here and edit that that's not hard I mean, you know, you should start to get your head around this, this platform and, you know, get in and start editing stuff. That's the whole point of it. But I thought the changing the the wording of the screensaver and maintaining the style was, was quite hard to do. So that's why the script appears. Anyway, OK, let's get rid of that. OK, so let's install the script and I'll show you it running. So file finder, I'm going to go into my downloads and, okay, and I need console. To pop it in there and maybe do some I've installed it so it makes some stuff so it's all going to save it but what it does it patches the font with the numbers so and it patches the font with the special characters so basically it you can write whatever you want within reason I don't know how far or across the screen you can go anyway so that's installed let's go back to this and let's go into here and you should go for screensaver maker you hit that and it defaults to a marchy, so you can just save that. So because you can edit it, it will always go back if you want to go back to a marchy. So just for me, we're going to type in 28 
all day. Now, it doesn't matter if you do it in lowercase, because it'll just default to uppercase. Okay, and it'll come up with a preview for you. And basically, save it. And then it does a backup of the file. So now, because it'll, I'm going to have to, because OBS can't capture the screensaver, I'm going to have to insert here, like the video, probably up be up by now, of the screen capture. And if you want to learn how to capture the screens, the screensaver, you can do it through video capture that's built into a March anyway. So that should be running by now. You should be able to see my screensaver going on there. Um, so yeah, so hang on back to me. There you go, super simple. You can install that, you can type in whatever words you want and off you go, you know, so that's it. But it, and it'll look like it's in the Amarchi style, if that makes sense. Um, so it doesn't go too far away from the aesthetic because some of the ASCII art can look mad. Um, so there you go, I hope that's useful and um, thanks for watching.